What's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Super Battle Droid from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. This may be a relatively short video. I've already reviewed this figure from the two-pack that came with the B1 Battle Droid with the 3PO head. This is a great figure and seeing this droid now all clean, this is beautiful. And of course, this comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see the Super Battle Droid. He comes with a little blast accessory for his twin blaster cannon on his wrist. That's pretty cool. Here we have Star Wars Attack of the Clones and Super Battle Droid. The front window wraps around on this side, and there's the side with the artwork, and I like that picture a lot. That's pretty cool with his arm up like that. That's awesome. Got this nice red color for the Attack of the Clones line. Got a small window on the top, and on the bottom, you got the barcode, tons of mouse print, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. You get the same picture that's on the side. You have a short bio in various languages. The Super Battle Droids number six in the Attack of the Clones line, and you have some more mouse print down there. And the bio says, stronger and more advanced than the standard mechanical soldier, Super Battle Droids run tirelessly and fearlessly into battle, reducing their targets to smoldering ruins with their cannon fire. All right, I'm going to get the Super Battle Droid open, and let's take a look at it. All right, so here's the Super Battle Droid out of the box, and again, this thing is beautiful. It is, it's just so nice to look at. Let's take a close look. This little hint of blue up here, I just love that. The red there's nice. The sculpt on the arms, it's just so good. It just looks incredible. This twin blaster cannon looks great. His back, the shiny black on his sides there, you know, on both sides. Just cool. Love all the detail in here. The crotch, this big, looks like a big gear. And the legs, you know, despite being skinny in this plane, they're actually thick in this plane. He stands up great. Big old hinge there, big joint. And the feet look amazing. I mean, just nicely detailed on those feet. It's got like a little tread. Yeah, it's just an amazing figure. It is one of my favorites in the entire line. It is so well done. And I'm so happy to have a clean one. And just for the sake of the video, I will run through articulation really fast. So there's nothing at the head, obviously. But the arms, okay, they can rotate around. And he has some really nice pivot at the shoulder. That's pretty sweet. The elbows can get that far okay just to 90 it's okay but there is a swivel above the elbow joint as well as below the elbow joint and at the wrist and then the wrists are hinged horizontally okay not bad as far as midsection you've got some twist not much crunch at all but he has some incredible back <laughs> very good back as far as hips okay you got some pivot at the hip joint and then there's a swivel right below that hip joint a swivel above the knee the knees can get all the way up to there. This little bit there on the back of his thigh will actually recess into this little groove so they can get up to there, which is pretty good. They can go out just that far. They go up all the way to there. It's pretty funny. And they go back all the way to there. Lots of movement in the legs. And then feet can go down that far. They can go up that far. And there is some swivel at the ankle. So the articulation on the Super Battle Droid is very good. And I love that he's so balanced. I mean, he just stands so well. I just love it. And for a quick comparison, so here's the single release, the clean one, and here's the one that came in the two-pack. So it's the same figure. It's just this one has the dirt on it. Okay. And it looks great. They both look fabulous. I absolutely love this figure. But yeah, that, that's really the only difference. You know, you got some Geonosian dirt or sand on this one, and then you do have a little blaster mark back there. Okay. Apart from that, it's the same figure on the outside, but inside here, pop the head off and pop the chest plate off. This one, the standalone, has some extra paint. There's some yellow here and here. If you look at the one that came in the two-pack, that yellow isn't there on either side. So that was a nice surprise. Yeah, that extra little splash of yellow there just really adds a lot. And I think something else that's kind of cool, if you look at the inside of the chest plate, you've got a cool texture going on there, and you have this sculpted in right there. That's awesome. All right, let me put this one back together. That'll just sit there in his noggin. Yeah, the red there is so cool. That's just nice. And his head will pop in there, like so. There. Incredible figure. I am so happy to have both. I think I like the clean one better, but I mean, they're both just wonderful figures. So moving on to accessories, here's the little blast effect that he comes with. It looks okay. It's in two pieces. Okay, you got the little blast part there, and then the actual, you know, blaster bolt will just plug in there. So that's what that looks like, and there's really only one way this will go in. If you see, this part is a little bit taller, 
So the more flatter part is gonna go up against his wrist. Now, something to keep in mind, okay? These little bits there, okay, on, on his blaster cannon are very, very flexible, okay? They just bend all over the place. They're very soft. I do wish they would have made those out of a more substantial plastic. These things will bend and flex all over the place as you're trying to put this on. So what I'm, I'm having to do, I found, is grab these little pickups and like stabilize these just to kind of keep them a little more firm and rigid as I slide this on. And it's just a pant load of fun. It's so much fun, I can hardly stand it. Okay. What? All right. So once it's on, it's on. And I think it does look pretty cool. But keep in mind, these two things right there are so flexy and so soft, they will bend all over the place on you. But I do kind of like this. I think it looks cool. I don't usually display my figures with like blast accessories, but I'm kind of liking this. And of course, if you wanted to take the blaster bolt off, you can do that and just have that, which looks kind of funny, but it's an option. Yeah, let me put this back in there. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And again, I'm kind of digging it. So I think for display purposes, I'm going to have the, the clean one like this with the blast accessory and then the this one with the dirt on him like that with the arm up, which is a good look. All right, so let's go stick these two droids on the shelf and let's see how they look there. And there we have it. And yeah, this, this figure's awesome. And in this light, the blue on his noggin really shows up. The red there on his chest really shows up. And I'm very pleased. And I think the blast accessory looks pretty sweet. Again, I don't normally display my figures with blast accessories, but I'm kind of liking that. So that's what they look like there. And I love it. So bottom line, it is an incredible figure, as you all know. If, if you've seen reviews or if you have this figure in hand, you know. This figure is so well engineered. The sculpt is incredible. The articulation is incredible. And hes I can't get over how balanced he is to be such a chunky figure. I mean, you can put him in kind of a wide stance, you know, like, you know, some kind of action pose. He stands up great. I mean, you can really spread these feet as far as they can go. He stands up fine. He is so well balanced despite being top heavy with skinny legs, but again, they're thick in this plane. So he's very, very stable. I think the blast accessory is kind of cool. The little bit of added paint underneath his chest. That's always nice. I just love the red there. But yeah, just the look of this figure. It's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. I am so happy, but just like always, I would love to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of the Super Battle Droid from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it and something else that I would love for you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It's the 112th Battalion. It's only 99 cents a month. You'll get sneak peeks to upcoming videos, custom emojis, loyalty badges, all those wonderful things. I would definitely appreciate that. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all next time.